Welcome back to the beach. Paganello underway, day two, real mix, pre quarter final action. I'm Christina Obermeyer, joined by Giovanni Choppo Santucci. How are you this morning? Good, good, definitely better than yesterday. Still not a perfect summer weather, but we're not in summer, so it's rightful for us to have this, this March weather. We're still right at the end of March, so as the Simpsons say, I hate this March weather. Well, actually, kind of love it, because you, you're, you're getting like cozy warm weather and then super cold, which also is pretty nice. And I, I also like, you can't really change it, can you? So you can just go with the flow, and it was really, really cold yesterday, but it's so much better now that we can enjoy the warm weather, knowing how bad it could be. Hey to all of you and hey to the guy who hey. just walks right in front of us, stealing the few seconds we have on camera. Oh, I don't mind if they steal those. I'm ugly as I can be when I comment. Ow, oh, don't sell yourself short, Chapo. Well, you guys just made me run up and down a field to get the... And you looked so good <laughs> doing it. <laughs> yes. Sorry to the previous watcher if someone got seasick. <laughs> but sometimes my steadiness is not as good as the steadiness of the back end of our Martina that walked right in front of us. Her back ends are as flat as the flat earther think is the flat is. <laughs> earth, flat. Earth I say it one flat. more time. Flat earth, earth flat. Ciao Martina. <laughs> All right, so we've got Chimera playing Zhu from Poland, from Warsaw, who did not fill out their rosters. So we're going to yeah, not really have any names for them. But we'll try our best as the pole is perfectly landing in the back of their end zone. Nice pole. And they're looking for an option. It's very, very good defense. And under pressure, oh. that's a kill Oh, my goodness. Oh, not oh, quite. No. It's not. He didn't catch it. And a travel is called. What? I thought it was going to be caught, but no. I but Zazi wants to throw instead of. He doesn't want to go to himself. <laughs> and that one is on oh, the ground, a unfortunately. And a, a foul on the play. Stuff there's happening. so much action right away. Stuff happening. Uh, excuse me. Tobias Grant Mine, can you move away from the angle? Thank you very much. Much appreciated. And Coco yeah. too, thank you. They're just taking away. No. They're taking away our view. And so. you can see um, the replay. Yeah, for those for those tuning in now, there has been almost a Callahan. Then Barzazi ran up to the line, commit did it an assist but it was during a travel so that this came back and now Bazazi threw it on the ground but he said it was a foul and that the foul is uncontested and Bazazi wants to score with Tal Osri and Osri gets the score to make it 1-0 and a break to start for Chimera amazing so so much action already and only the tiniest back part of the field so yeah, the, the, the field itself was crowded. Like, 
also the player running rightfully in, in the spots and the in places on the field were just clogging the disc space and the disc side for us. So. Yeah, it's often it's often really hard to to score these kinds of goals from the goal line because the the, the space is so congested and you have the the same amount of players in very very little space. But uh, a team like uh, Chimera, they can they can do yeah. it, and by now yeah. they're they're well oiled together. And what a pull catch there! Just the fingertips still on. Now going back, just the two handlers working it around. We're on the far side now, and what a layout to keep okay, possession inside, out flick. Look at that! Ran down and perfectly put into the end zone for the score. One one, but Kimera got the first break. They did. They will get offense after half. That's what this says, so not too much yet, but we'll see the effects of it later in this game. So this Polish team, is not the most well-known on the in international stage as many of the players usually play single gender for the European season troubles as a lot of the women players on this team usually and also players on mixed national team rosters from last year we had an epic game of the Polish mixed national team not dropping a single disc on their O-line to be fair all of these players that are here played on the D-line of that team Mine Oof. you can say oh, mine mine sorry is, uh, from from Florida. From Florida. Well, I His actually. Dad is. Oh, and a layout block. Actually, Doug Mine. I think it's Douglas Mine. I think it's from. I don't. I don't want to say stupid stuff. But maybe it's from Ohio. Maybe. But then he lived in Florida, where most of the br Mine's brother were born. Actually, Toby Tobias Grant was born in Guatemala. Such an international person, and what a layout block by Coco Foke. Beautiful, and just what Chimera needed. Kumekova looks for a reset and gets it. Foke completely open in the middle, puts it into uh. space, but Kumekova always knew that was going to be too speedy. Too tight. So the disc is walked back slowly. We've got all the time in the world here. Set play. Which would have worked out, but the disc is just too far and um, very, very low. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm getting older. As, an, as, as I'm getting older, I think that set plays are maybe one of the toughest thing to do and the most difficult thing for the offense to play even though it's a set play so you're basically knowing what's happening it's super tough to get the mo disc moving that's why i really love i really love that i love that but i really also love to start a set play with some giving goes between handlers but tobias mine my god <laughs> that flick I, I, he sell the soul <laughs> devil for that <laughs> flick. Not to play violin, but to, th to throw flicks and high releases. Look Not at that. Look at that. I mean, Saw the mismatch? But Look. Mekova was in the perfect position. And sh she's a very tall player. So she knows so easy to get that. She was, she was open. They had, they had a connection. Probably a look, the both of them. And figure that out. So beautiful. Normal. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. 
And I do actually agree. Thank you guys. <laughs> Sorry. You heard a thank you and you didn't know for who it was, but it was for you guys that are watching at home and on YouTube and for to all the subscribers of our Patreon, Christina. What? Yeah, exactly. It's so important for, uh, for you to support us. It's what makes our streams better as this poll could not have been better. <laughs> so, Christina, before the game, you told me that they lost against the Bolognese team, the Chimera. Chimera did, and that's why they are in the pre-quarter. And what a float! Not the disc, but the, the guy is jumping of two meters high. As we nearly. say in Italy, I think they tied that they did not to the finger. We say that to because they remind that they still remember the, the loss that they just had because or how they're running to the pool, how they're pulling. Looks like Chimera didn't expect to lose and didn't expect to play a pre-quarter. So now they want to be sure to get ahead past this pre-quarter and focus for them their quarter. And yeah, that is um, a very good advice if you want to give it to them. And they're on defense, uh, on offense now. Wow. And Drama in pursuit. That wow. disc is perfect. Wow. And that's oh. a drop, Strip? unfortunately. Such good pressure. My from goodness. The defense and <laughs> Quentin Roger. What? <laughs> it's another guy who almost so sell his soul to the devil for this. Both hands. He got a better deal than mine. He got both hands that can just throw the sweetest discs and the meanest assist I've ever saw in the ultimate European community. Yeah, he's a very good asset to have on your team, both on offense and defense. He's a speedy player, but gets even seems to be even more speedy on the sand. But gave up this one, and that's a perfect put into the end zone. Osri in pursuit, but that's just too perfect. Wow. For G. I would really, really love to tell you who it was. Don't have a, don't, don't have a roster sheet with names on them, so. Well done you, number 12. Great jump there. Yeah, I think I think Osri was uh, a bit tired. He got a long point. He ran, he got a big layout on the pool and maybe some sand got into his eyes. We can see that he's washing his face on the sideline. So probably, probably he wasn't that focused. It wasn't that concentrated when he was catching up to the disc or he couldn't see him properly, I don't know. But anyway, great, great chance, great hawk. For for Chimera with Quentin Roger making this full field back and hug, but couldn't stick to it at the end. Great effort by the defense. Lucia changing up the score for Chimera, and it's a 2-2 game. And that pole was very short, only at half field. Yeah, Japanese tactics. But the Aussie looking for an option finds. No one yet, but goes reset into the score. Oh. Goes for it with a trailing edge, but too far. For a second, I thought it was good, but Martina for sure is telling David that it was in a way more safe and free position. Yeah, but he was, I, I saw that he was already dialed in to throw that disc. So Bazazi is a bit sick, that's what we hear. We'll so see if he can still play defense. He said he's a bit sick, so he can't focus properly. Oh, and Toby Mini with the perfect defense. How wow. did he get that jump from behind and get up front and perfectly put into the end zone for Bazazi, and he redeems himself with an amazing Look, catch. Looks like he is focused enough to catch those one-handed disc, but Toby is... Looks like Toby and Martina are literally putting the, yeah, just upping their game, like the American says, I elevating their game. Yeah, I do think all of th like all of this team has the ability to play on that level, but it doesn't even take everyone to do that. Just one or two people, maybe a third person, to really make a difference. And it looks like um, Kmekova and mine have drawn it this round. To, mm. to be the ones to make that difference. We'll see if others can step up. But also, Fouquet had ha has had an amazing layout defense. Yeah. So everyone's just doing 
their best, giving their all. And the Polish seem not to be that stifled about it. They're like, okay, we can we can still play. We can hang with you guys. Yeah, the, the wind is uh, picking up a bit now, but shout out to our watcher in, uh, on YouTube, Jan Bobinek saying, oh no, I don't know why, maybe doesn't like my voice and comment. Ciao, Jan, and ciao to all the others that are watching from home. And his own setup from Chimera. Oof. Greatly exploited by the Polish. They were just going up the line and it working it into Henderson just perfectly. Yeah. I think also that this zone was, was thought to be a forced middle zone, but I guess it didn't work because they break the mark every time on the back end. Indeed, it's, I, I do think it's really hard to to play a successful zone also in, uh, in, in beach because you don't have to run as much and you're not as quick to be um, when you're defending. So just figuring out where to place yourself is a bit different. We talked about this actually yesterday, that like being a good defender on beach is so much harder than yeah. on grass. Yeah, exactly. On beach is more difficult for many reasons, you can poach uh, because the separation will stay almost always there, and you can jump. <laughs> white men can jump, white women can jump on sand. Nobody oh, can jump I've on sand. I've seen a few. Yeah, but there, there are good jumpers. Definitely not as high but and still, as successful. When you need to do that jump to catch up, not as high as Stefan Rapazzo, obviously, but when you do that defensive jump to catch up those last half meter on sand, you cannot do it. So actually trailing is not that good when you're in defense on the sand. While on grass, sometimes you get the better timing, the better coordination. Two words from Chapo, good analysis as Chimera lose their offense and give it to Ju Number 12. To 11, the handler core of the D line of the Polish mixed team go oh. deep and wow! I I don't think she knew that that throw uh, was up in the air until it was super late. She tried to correct it as well, but maybe not quite quite enough float in that disc. And Kimera get it back on a lucky bit of a lucky. Um, well, play. yes, they're pushing that 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 side of the field, obviously. Oh, that's unfortunate, that's unfortunate for Mina, <laughs> who just dropped the disc to his chest. Reset comes off and Mina is there to mark immediately. He knows he has to redeem himself and that's a new round put into the middle. Goes over and that one's too high. The g a gust of wind just snapped that disc right up. They're now clearing the line for us as the disc is on that far side. To be mine to pick up. That disc again not connecting. I think the last th three or four first passes have not been working out for Chimera. Maybe they're stressed by the wind that's picking up quite intensely now. Yeah, they also... No, they're getting tired. The first points, there was a really tough, tough, no space defense. And that poach exploited intensely by, by the Polish offense. Yeah, well, actually the, Var the Warsaw team, uh, Axley, I hope I say it right. Obviously, I'm not saying it that right, but the Varsa team uh, really is uh, chiseling their way through the field. Even though they had a couple of overthrow, they're not intimidated by this pickup all-star team. And they just want to get the, the work done. It's 4-3. The actually game is on the line. Some of them are also kind of all-stars. Yeah, sure, some sure. of the men have played with Solaris mm -hmm. at, last European, at the last European Beach Ultimate Club Championship that happened last year and I do think they were in the final. Wow. So 
they were really good. And can't expect anything else from a team like that. A very good pull that lands in the end zone, just stands there. And the team is already here. Mine on that near side. Looks for an option. Gets a close reset from Osri and Axi are just really intensifying this defense. Indeed, and Fouke puts mine out there. It's floating perfectly it just in front of the end zone. Mine is there. Osri asks for the discs. High release. Wow. And he gets it. What a play. A push pass over the defense. How cool is that guy? That is crazy to think about that throw with this kind of win that is always changing up your plans. I mean, Toby is one of a kind player. It was so exciting to play with him. Indeed, it does seem like you're a little bit speechless from uh, from s watching uh, Chimera play. And this, the like the fun they're having, uh, oh, even though it's a pre-quarter and this could mean they're out of contention for, for winning the tournament, which pretty much was their goal. But they're just, you know, playing with it, having fun for now. And oh, it really looks really cool what they're doing. Still a close game here, 4-4, four, four, like the scoreboard says after Rapazzo has passed through. Nice pull by Osri. Yeah, that's a big one, using oh. the wind, and that's just the tiniest bit not in, which then makes the disc go out so early, because it never came back in. Yeah, they're arguing about the right spot. Osri said it was out of almost at the midline. And they got a couple meters more. And uh, we got a TV down. And the wind picking the wind, up uh, so much right now. And that's bus. also seen on the field as the reset pass does not connect. Get that TV screen in jail. And now David with the disc. Azazi. Looks for an option and does not find Osri, but goes around Oof. to Panza, who does not quite get there in time. That put into the end zone is perfect for the score. And how do they do that again and again? The puts are just on the money. Yeah. Uh, this is the fact that sometimes, sometimes the fact that some people maybe are not playing in the big leagues or big divisions. Doesn't mean it's a less valuable player. Look at these guys. They're shredding Kimira defense with big hawks. And Kimira has big big legs and big girls and big boys chasing those discs. So the discs are perfectly, perfectly put it in the end zone. Most of the time, Kimira instead had a couple of throws that were short, a couple of meters, and then the mistakes arrive right in front of the end zone. So let's say it. Axley is pretty consistent as a team so far. Indeed. Which gives the disc back to Chimera on offense. The poach works out first, but Kmekova puts it into the end zone, Oy! and that's a catch. What a beautiful put from her. And that works both ways. Benedicto gets the score, hangs onto it with her fingertips. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lucia, the Spanish player. Lucia Benedicto. She does speak Italian, though, too. Yeah, doesn't I think she? so. I heard it speak Spanish, but I don't actually know this, the whole story about her nationality. So it's uh, they're trading shots now. They're just going back and forth, back and forth. We love big that plays, though. big hawks. 
that's what what I am here for. The yep. big the big plays, uh, hooks and quick points as well. It's nothing more tiring than an endless point of no one winning. Five five the current score, and she spoke back. And are on Coralie on serve Fouquet again. Avec les poules. Ta vie, c'est pas fait. C'était pas fait. Was perfect. It was Ouch. a perfect one, but that one not so perfect. Although From the cut was good. From the get-go, that flick was already sinking. Timeout called by Bazazi. That's the focus we need from Bazazi, calling timeouts now. Don't know what happened to that guy, but it seems to be a bit uh, more cautious as he is prone to a little bit of sickness. Yeah, probably. He just, he just, I mean, I think he partied too hard the first day, like always or probably yesterday with the wind. And so now Barzaz just told us that probably is feeling a bit sick or it was feeling sick because they lost the game against the David Morris team. And you know how David can be once you lose against him. It's like, oh, you like to party? You like to go on holiday? Well, I smash your team, I smash your wins. So you never know if he's saying the truth or was just sick of losing. Sick of losing, definitely. I, I think if I if I was here with the caliber of a team that he put together, I would be I would be really sick of losing, especially um, when you know it's it's not about the party, but it's actually my body not being on 100 percent. If he's actually sick. Yeah, 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 for sure. So oh, we'll see what happens. They're still in contention, but it's close. It's even closer than I thought. And I hope that this huddle and the timeout gave them exactly what they needed and we won't see a d turnout. Which is, of course, if after a timeout, the first pass just goes to ground. and The timeout actually didn't help anything but get the disc back to the opposition. Well, yeah. Actually, we're, like, uh, we're pretty set up because the... the, the the turnover came from a handler to counter pass, so there wasn't a fast break possibility. So I think the timeout really paid off and this time. What a good first cut by Koki oh, and sweet. Bazazi with the score. That one worked out perfectly. They needed this break. They really did. Looks like the confidence is there, but don't tell Axis Lee because their confidence may be as same as the Kimera one. So. I think we can expect a real tense universe point on this game. Oh, I'm calling that. I would love to see a universe point. We haven't seen too many of it. Yeah, exactly. But first, we've got another 20 minutes. 20 minutes of fierce and hopefully tie intensity for this game. So, yeah. here we are, actually asking for the disc, maybe a bit of a delay here with the disc. There's a guy recording with a phone backward here beside us. And a very good pull again, and it looks like we're back in zone offense, uh, zone defense for Chimera. <laughs> I thought it gave that. They exploited it really well, did she? Did she? Before. We'll see if they can do that again or if they're switching it up a little bit. Nice find through the middle. This is exactly where the holes are. Oh, and I just about keeps it in. Look, you, you can tell, even though it's curious, you can tell that in Poland during the what we call it off season during the winters, winter months, they actually play a lot of beach ultimate. They have a lot of volleyball, beach volley pitches. Uh, Poland is big on 
is big on volleyball, oh, and, and so they practice a lot on sand. And Kmekova just jumping in there, trying to get. It was almost. She was almost there. Yeah, trying to get that disc, but just not quite there. And I do think uh, it, this is a timed halftime. Yeah. At six six. Shout out to our friend from Poland and uh, from from my friend from my friend Maya. That it's actually oh, Maya. how I get all this information from the Poland ultimate scene. She she's a pretty a, a content creator, I would say. She posts a lot of stuff, so I thankful for that because I can get a uh, insight in what the the season uh, in Poland is. So shout out to our Poland friends and yeah. This guy from Askesley are making a real statement and they're putting in the effort to score against Chimera. So there's some confusion about half time, if, if, whether there's a cap or no. But I don't think there's a half time cap, it's just no, 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 switch. There's no half time cap. We just switch, keep the disc or give it away and that's it. Now there's a white disc in the end zone. In so the I end don't zone know. over there. I don't think that's right. I just think that they should switch if they have. Well, there's a there's confusion all over. I think. Yeah, you gotta use the pink one. We would prefer you to because we can see the pink disc so much better. And so there's a change. Switch side. It's half time, guys. Oh, so actually... There is a cap. Hmm. Interesting. So, actually, we have a bit of a kerfuffle in, in the middle of the game. Uh, seems to be a problem with the timing and the half-time cap. Uh, because Chimera started from the side that they're setting on now. But, but Zazi, it's mm, making sure that they start on that side, even though the whole team was thinking about starting on the opposite side. So basically, we are at the last point of the first half. Yeah, we're confused, but it's fine. We'll figure it out. Half and of my life, I'm confused. The thing is, as long as, so in my opinion, of course, the, the tournament has rules and stuff, but as long as the two teams on the pitch agree on what to do, and it's fair, like, we, who are we to, to stop them? Who are we to judge? Yeah, and also there's a crosswind that doesn't have a favorite side, so I don't think players really mind that. Roger to Fouquet on this near side. That's Fouquet again and a pick call downfield. I don't. There's think actually a pick between the, the same same team. Oh was yeah. Defender were involved basically, but Toby and Martina just crash into each other. Oopsies! Doesn't affect the throw going out to Kmekova. Roger, he has a scuba in his grip. I would have loved to see him get it. Fouquet instead. And she puts it out into space, and that's a perfect pickup for Valentini. Were they forcing one? Let's see. Yes, they were forcing one. So, yeah. Forcing backhand? Uh, yeah, forcing. Is that what sorry. Yeah. One, it's a Bolognese oh, no. language slang. Uno, but yeah, they were forcing back, and so I guess this is on the on the on the car on the defensive cut side of the of the bargain. And here's the top song uh, for the next year for Stefan Rapalzo. It will be in his uh, favorite song playlist forever. So David is saying that he was uh, feeling sick. He got sick during night because of cold, like influenza. So Friday, because uh, he partied too hard on Friday night. Uh, so he was already sick. He was already sick on Friday afternoon. It got even worse. When he Friday partied night. all night. And then... Okay, I guess some ice cube exchanges didn't help. No play the game, okay. Well, if you're in... <laughs> if you're in an, an insider frisbee you know what we win with the ice cube game if not you can go to a tournament and figure it out it's called cocktails 
you put ice cube inside a glass and you drink it what inside of that that's the game I play. Foki has the disc in her hand. A little bit of a travel there, jumping in, but finds mine, and mine is slashing wow, through wow, it with wow, that flick. Wow, and Gmekova oh, gets it. My goodness. Wow, how did she read that? That was uh, struggling in the wind by the end, but trusted receiver. This is crazy. This is crazy. He just nodded to Martina like, yeah, Oh yeah, let's go. Just go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. Like, wherever you want it and then you just put this inside flick they turn in on a back on a, a round angle really fast and but it stayed up and Martina had the whole time to chase it be ready fast feet so we have the halftime effect kicking in the one break Chimera got Chimera got later was n is now rewarded as after after like the halftime caps jumping on they were on offense again which makes the point difference two now and with only about 12 minutes left on the clock a two point lead is quite fatal especially because those teams were battling so hard for every single one of those discs and the wind is picking up? Well, just because I know more Chimera player, I know that as the closing time, as the clutch time is, is approaching, there are a lot of them who wants to make the difference and yeah, the three quarters is uh, such an important game for them. Indeed, but they're going I out with their zone again and the Polish side has not had any trouble with it and there's not a lot of pressure on the handlers. They can only go, they can go to the other side, like from one side to the other on the field easily, just between the two of them. Works out so well. And now they try to break it and get it off as well. Look at just that. Just give and goes all the way. S such a clinic. Just in front of the end zone now. Such a clinic for that, for, for oh. Kimura. And then just right, right there oh, on the brink on. of it. There's a completely free person, and it, she receives the disc. That was that was maybe one of the best offense we saw all day, uh, all, all tournament. I do I, I do agree. They just exploited, but also, like in this particular instance, the defense didn't put any pressure on the handlers. Yeah. And they could basically do anything they wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ian Grochin. Grochocinski, Grochocinski, you can shed us some some light for us about who is Jack Puvilaitis, uh, the number, because we don't have any roster, so at least we have one name and one number uh, paired up. So, Ian, you said let's go Jack Puvilaitis, uh, actually kind of a Greek surname, Puvilaitis, but yeah. Let us know the number in the chat if you know any of the rosters so we can try and try and connect the, the dots yeah, on that Polish team. Call them with a kind of a identity, not just numbers. What a nice pull. And the defense is already there. And a flick goes off to Kmakova. Wow. It's sitting perfectly. She's got a big smile on her face. Looking at that, putting it into Valentini for the score what what a play and we talked about perfect offense and I don't know how else to describe this one well certainly completely different style of play uh, Axisley is just uh, trying to go ahead and not lose the disc uh, also because of the Chimera zone and instead, the Chimera is playing a heavy one-on-one -on -one kind of ultimate because Axley is actually uh, playing hard one-on-one -on -one defense. But as I was saying before, these are the moments where you get paid off by picking up players with great talent, such as Quentin Roger. Like he looked for the first pass in the middle of the field, but the runners were already there. Look for uh, another upward pass. Then saw the gap there, the window, and just bolted straight to Martina, and it was a, actually a super tight and nice throw. 
Indeed. Upwind. Yeah, it was it was pretty tight, and I do think it was kind of like a high stall situation where he's like, okay, yeah, I'm exactly, just going to jack exactly. it. And if that works, if they give them the opportunity, they're going to take that again and again. And what a good pull, just slicing through, and that's oh, out the almost. back. Woo. Almost. But they're walking it to the brick point. Does seem like they switched back to matchup defense, which I like because I th I think physically they can walk with them. Ooh, no pivot. Yeah, on that far side now, trapped by oh. Badzazi. Not a contact. The defense and uh, it's a very open player up the line. Goes back and around. Looks for an option uh, and finds one again. This open side for Chimera is bleeding. He can't give them the easy points, and that's not easy. <laughs> but what a great reset option to that near side of the pitch. And we're in the red zone. Just needs one good cut for Zhu to... Get that score in. They desperately need it. And that's a scuber. A perfect one. Just over the top. Do doesn't matter how windy it is. And Bazazi just gave up because he was like, okay. Yeah, but does he they was got it. That's fine. He was looking at that space for the poach. He looked at a couple of other cuts that were coming from the top of the stack. But then when. Uh, actually, he covered the first cut. But then his man stayed there because he realized that David was looking away. And then he called the disc, and uh, you know, scoopers are pretty fast though, if you know how to throw them. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a daring shot in this wind, I gotta say. Yeah, but from far away to our sideline, from the far side to downs, is almost basically downwind, so it's like a ball. To me, it has the same physics almost as a ball. Just chug it out. Yeah, you just chug it out somewhere. Yeah, it's gonna fall Someone down. will catch it. It's going to fall somewhere. It, need, it needs to be a chest, chest pass like in basketball. You have a lot of um, expectations on one of those. Yeah. Roger looks for the isolation. And Kmekova is deep again. And this time it's, again, <laughs> oh, it's her again. It was such a congested shot. And Mina puts it into wow. the end zone. Mine rather to Fouquet. Wow. And wow, wow, wow. I just so good from them. Just composed offense. And in the right moments, people are just getting open for the easy shots. Yeah, Kimira, Kimira just... Actually, I would say that Kimira is uh, doing a more dangerous type of game. Because to me, Axley is... Uh, is actually playing a safer offense, more safe offense. They just slowly and steadily go. But if if Martina gets covered on that deep look, what happens then? Like, can Quentin Ogier keep putting this perfectly placed upwind? I, I do think we saw that just now because she was covered. Like, the, the Polish player was there. You can see the score now. Sorry, Christina. And a beautiful man beside him. Uh, Stefan Rapazzo, the jefe. Well, obviously, Kimira has other players also, other than Quentin Roger, that can step up, making big plays in the clutch time. But I think that also Axley has big players. But Osri. There you go. That's one of the other players who can step up. Osri puts it, and then. Bazazi picks it up quickly for Krama, and that's a break, a quick one, and the well-needed one for Chimera. Five minutes left. That's, I think, the jingle that's going on right now. Indeed, and Chimera has a three-point lead. We'll see that perfect defense there by Osri. Bazazi picks up, looks for nice the continuation. Pass. And then Krama is right there in the end zone for the score. 
Well, yes, Ravi, any any pass actually deep to Kimkova looks like they're pretty safe, but couple times, couple times she had to adjust the run, so. But she, she still has the time yeah, yeah, and the ability to adjust. That's it's really, really everything, good. Everything is perfect, but still, I would I would prefer a easy put-in score, but yes, Ravi, you're right. It's not that dangerous. It's a gamble, though. It's a gamble that always pays off. So can you call it a gamble? I don't know. You put me in the spot. You put me on the spot, Ravi. We don't use that word, David. Oh, what a good catch there. That. So we have a number now, 31. It's Mikal Rudy. Everybody calls him Rudy. And some player call him Daddy, uh, from uh, what I read in the chat. Oh, in a layout defense, that's defense attempt rather not stifled at all are the Polish by that pressure Oof. and what a grab for the reset he continues on just in front of the end zone looking for the reset and gets it off as well so they're patiently looking for the one open option Nice leading pass to the other side, and wow. what a cross throw into space. Didn't see that coming, but they know, knew what they were doing all along. Yeah, it was strange. It was a tight, sharp pass, but it was ahead of time. Like, it was an anticipation pass, something that you should, like, float sometime. But this was right straight in the break. There was that connection. The defender was ba back to the disc. Facing back to the, to the, facing with the back to the disc. Sorry. I did. So, no, no possibility. You just have to have spider reflex, spider sense to get that. Yeah, or a really good sideline that can help you. But that is always just going to be a really tough shot to defend that inside angle. And it's so powerful to have like a connection. Like you can see, you can you can check the eyes, have a look, and then be like, okay, we're on the same page. You put it in there, and there's a defense can't do a lot against it. Yeah, I love those type of bats, but sometimes you just threw it, and your guy is going left, and you threw it right, and you feel like a bit of a... These things can always happen, and that's a deep shot happening for Bazazi. It's perfect. He tries to jump it in, but travels. All the way he goes back to the line, looks for an option, and takes a timeout which I am not sure he has. Rudy, Rudy Prudy, Tutti Fruity is asking for this to Bazazi. Uh, luckily, we don't have USA, USA U rules, so they're not gonna lose the disc. That's for sure, but they're gonna add some time to the count. Think it's plus two? Yes, plus two. Only one timeout. So David wanted to play the safe way, but he couldn't. The so thing it's is, yeah. Plus two. Plus two on the score. There's enough people around him, maybe even too many people around him. And only one minute left. Too many people, one minute left, zero possibility. And two, what a one, good oh. pick up there. And that's a score for Benedicto. They had the breather to make something work and they did do that one more point is needed for Chimera because the cap point cap is at 13 yeah plus two but it's not over yet and there's any chance for Z to to come back into the game yeah anyway uh i just got proved wrong another time there was another big hug and another great completion with no trouble at all. So I would say that Kimera as as fun is is proper way to play. They they like the hawks, they're doing it pretty right. There's a good isolation isolation on the deep field. So yeah, uh, looks like the hawking tactics is paying off. But also why stop? If it works, as long as it, as it does work, just continue doing it. And then 
we know the caliber of all of these players. They can do a different. They can play a different game, though. And actually, what I like about the the, the Polish team is that they're they're not getting drawn into this hucking match, you know, because they're really good at, at doing the the resetting and the undercutting, and they're not trying to best Chimera at their own game, which is hucking, but rather making them work on the unders, on defense, tiring them out a little bit. Well, I will call it a, a great movie. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Hope everyone is getting that from home. Ooh. And the reset does not work out. Not a lot of open players, and that could be a quick score for Chimera if they get it, and they do. That's a pre-quarter final win for Chimera. They advance into the bracket, and they did prove to be worthy of it in this game today against the Polish side of Axzy. Axzy. Axly. Axly. We're working on the Polish. Like a slotty. Five slotty, one slotty. You can buy many things for one slotty. <laughs> Not so sure about that. But anyway, that was it for this real mixed pre quarter final. We've got so much more action for you today. So we'll take a short break, but we will be back with an open game in about 10 minutes. Thank you all for tuning in for Chapo Santucci. I've been Thank you Christina Obermeyer. Talos is the worst. And uh, we will be back with you soon. Buongiorno a tutti. Benvenuti a Paganello 2024. A mezzogiorno comincerà un'altra partita su... Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, ultimate. It's a night, night, night. Alti.tv.